and Drew is accepting a job offer. I think we're gonna sell our house. And he said he was putting in an offer. Can we move? Welcome back to a week in my life vlog if you're a subscriber and if you're new here nice to meet you I make videos about living a good story <laughs> uh, This is gonna be another fall week in my life vlog. It is Monday And I'm off to a good start because I'm not gonna be late to work, but I'm going to have kind of um, a busy week I'm really nervous about it. So tomorrow I'm giving an hour long presentation and then I'm giving an abridged version of it on Friday to the entire board. So, and both of those happen to be days I'm supposed to work from home. So I have to go into the office every single day this week. And I have to give two presentations. So that's gonna be a lot. It's later now. Way to rehearsal. Drew packed us up a bunch of snacks. Oh, and I changed my clothes. Oh my gosh, we look like twins. I'm wearing a man's shirt. Drew's gonna drive. Not that he doesn't always drive, but I actually drive a lot of times to rehearsal because he's studying for tests, but I have to study for my presentation tomorrow. Yeah, so we have. I was trying to print these out today and it was just chaos. We're just at a red light and Drew's accepting a job offer. Yeah. He's accepted another one, but this one he like is gonna take. Yeah. Yeah! Welcome to our team. Congratulations! <laughs> Woohoo! We are doing a lot right now. We are driving to rehearsal, accepting job offers, we're practicing yeah, she's speeches. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thanks! I'm so excited! Woohoo! Here we are, who remembers the theater? Jack, I have my camera, is that okay? What's that? I'm filming, is that okay? Oh, sure. Okay, there's an update on this stage. So the whole play takes place in one room because it's like a weird twist on A Christmas Carol. So it's like we're telling the story as he wrote it for the first time, so it's all just like in the attic. So we don't have to change our clothes or change the set or anything. This is cute. Yeah. Yeah. And it has cushion on it. It's a lot softer than it was oh, nice. last week. Oh, and Jack said that they like had recycled wood, so it's like jigsawed together. So that's good. Recycling's good. Go. Hi, oh, Rufino. <laughs> Spacecraft built by Elon Musk's company SpaceX splashed down off Florida's Gulf Coast last night, according to the Associated Press. The Crew Dragon capsule carried four astronauts who had been on a nearly 200-day mission. Good morning. I'm getting ready for my presentation. It's 8.51. Tuesday is normally a work from home day, so I'm kind of not coming in until my presentation. The presentation's at 10. I'm going to try and leave in the next 15 minutes. It's so weird like i get so nervous when i give presentations i'm gonna be honest with you i'm a great public speaker um but every time like i just feel like i'm gonna throw up like i don't really like it um which is weird <laughs> but sometimes you don't like things you're good at 
Um, so I'm looking forward to it being over, but it's a really good presentation. I have a lot of good data and I'm proud of it and it should be good. We are not moving. It's 9.26. My presentation is in 34 minutes. Can we move? Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, 11.15, can't get here fast enough. Can't get here fast enough. Okay, 18 minutes, let's go. supervisor afterward and you might have heard me telling him that no one came to the meeting <laughs> so I invited like 20 people and I made it hybrid because my team the strategic communication team is worked from home on Tuesday so I but I knew other teams don't work from home so I made it hybrid and I told everyone they could just like join the team's meeting but no one came except my boss <laughs> I didn't turn my camera on because I felt like there would be a weird view if I was standing, like people might just see like the bottom half of my body. So I didn't need to wear makeup and I didn't need to print out handouts. I didn't even need to come in because nobody was there, but you never know. Um, and it all went really well and I'm glad it's over. I've given that report before, but this was the first time I gave it for like staff members before I've given it to like VPs and um, executive committee members and stuff like that. Um, so I'm just so glad it's over. On Friday though, I have to give a 10 minute version of it for the board and that's in person. So that's gonna be a thing, but everything's like all set up for that. So it should be okay. Um, I just got back home and Drew texted me and said that he has a gift card from the people that just offered him a job. They gave him like a Grubhub gift card. So he got me Moe's and I'm so excited. Three bucks. Oh, okay. Um. I'm about to have another meeting and I have a lot of work to do, but after that, we have a realtor coming to our house. What? Yes. I think we're gonna sell our house. So, we're selling our house. Yeah. I didn't know when you said the realtor was coming over that that meant we're selling our house. I didn't either. I, I mean, I, I'm okay with it. I just, yeah. I thought she would come over and then maybe next week she'd be like, yeah. yeah. But she was like, I got the lockbox, I'm ready. Yeah. Um, I got all these things you need to sign. I got yeah, all these like, sign things. Yeah. She said that they're taking pictures on Thursday. Today's Tuesday. So tomorrow morning, tomorrow night, we're gonna have to clean the whole house. Yeah. Just make it look good. I'm excited actually. Yeah. And then it's going on the market <laughs> on Friday. <laughs> when I started filming this vlog, I didn't know any of this. No. Yeah. Drew's going to class. Big couple of days. I'm going to the gym. Yeah. <sighs> Watch and then there's other stuff going on that we can't talk about yet. <laughs> Cause I can't, I can't, we can't say. <laughs> but I'm thinking I can talk about it soon. So I'll let you know what that is. Okay. Back from the gym and I'm gonna cook up some food to eat for the next couple of lunches and maybe tonight. I have this pumpkin that I'm tired of looking at. I think I'm gonna just cook it.
Yeah. And we're here talking about the exact same thing we were talking about last night. We're now gonna clean the whole house because tomorrow the photographer's coming. We're about to have an epic cleaning montage. Cleaning fest. Let's go. about to leave for work and I'm getting coffee I'm just gonna check the weather because today I'm gonna take fall photos for Instagram looks like it's gonna be cloudy it's gonna rain it too it's not ideal I should have taken them yesterday but I was really busy yesterday the photographer is coming later today to take pictures of the house which is crazy Drew's gonna be supervising that yeah and then we have rehearsal tonight take pictures but I totally forgot that I also agreed to go film an event that's happening. Students are getting to ride in like the official university car so I'm gonna go do that too. before that I agreed to go film a live event and I did not know what I had agreed to. I thought that, so the campus has this mascot that's like a Model T, like an old Ford car, it's called the Ramblin' Rack, and I thought that they were gonna be passing out class rings and students were gonna like maybe get in the wreck or something, but actually what happened was it's a tradition that the rings like ride around campus and so they wanted me to be in the car to like film the rings going around campus. So I just got to ride in the car, like all around it. It was so cute, it's so fun. <laughs> and then I met this man that graduated in 1950 and was here to like buy a ring for his grandson who's getting his master's and it was just like really cute. And then there was this one girl who just got her ring and she was crying. And I was just really proud of her and then I started crying. It's just like a great day. I wanted to say that I haven't mentioned in the vlog that Taylor Swift's a version of Red is coming out tonight at midnight, and I'm so excited. <laughs> we had a fall bucket list this year, and this is our final remaining item on the bucket list that we listened to this album all the way through. And um, you know, I'm so <laughs> excited. There's gonna be a, like a decent amount of brand new songs that we've never heard in collaborations, and all too well, 10 minute version is come that's gonna be just insane. It's like the new free bird, and <laughs> There's gonna be a short film coming out tomorrow with Sadie Sink from Stranger Things at 7 p.m. and I'm gonna make popcorn. Wow! Yeah, we can, well, we can maybe watch it when you get home from work. You're going somewhere? You're not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. No, I have plans. You're I keep, going to work. I keep getting you confused with me. We got walls. What else is new? Oh, this wall? Fireplace? Oh, yes, it has paint. Oh. Out of the hiding hole. That's new. Oh, we have a door, I just noticed. Ooh, there's a lot of new things happening. Listen, I think the obvious crazy. 
Ah, oh, away. And you know, she recovered the settee. Okay, I so. just wanted you guys to know that Zeke is in the show, if you remember. Zeke and I were dance partners in Oklahoma, mm -hmm. and now we're gonna be married. We've been training for this for like three years now. I know, right? <laughs> and is this Kathy Julia? Sure. Is this Kathy Hello. She is also my wife. Yes. We're all kind of married to each other. Right. We're the only women in the show. And Callie, yes. she's like 12. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> put on a bunch of moisturizers my skin is looking moist I'm sorry I said that word anyways I have a presentation like I mentioned earlier in the week I have it at 2 p.m. today which is great I really thought it was at 10 a.m. this morning um and that's just like I was talking to my boss yesterday I said presentation tomorrow 10 a.m. she was like no it's at 2 and I was like okay glad we talked because that's a big difference not the same 10 and 2 Except when you're driving, that's where you should put your hands. I don't know if I'm taking questions. That's the part I think I hate the most about presenting is I just hate taking questions because I don't know what people are gonna ask and I just feel scared of the unknown. Um, and I think um, generally my biggest fear is just like a fear of sounding dumb or not knowing the answer. That's like, if we're just being really honest. But I don't think I'm taking questions. I don't know. All right, I just practiced giving my presentation. I gave it in nine minutes and 30 seconds. So that's under 10 minutes. Also, I just gave a tour of the house. Somebody, the realtor I said, came in. I think he wants to buy it as an income property and rent it. And he looked at it for like, he was here for like five minutes. And he said he was putting in an offer. It's not even on the market yet. <laughs> Drew ironed my shirt. Thank you. Yeah. I wanted to wear yellow because it's the board meeting and they always wear like school colors. So <laughs> I'm showing up. I need to put my name tag on too. Oh my god, you guys. Okay, I just got in my car, I just gave the presentation. It was, honestly, even more intimidating and stressful than I was anticipating. <laughs> like, it was the board of a university, you guys. So, or the alumni association. And so it was very formal, very fancy, uh, a lot of very smart people, and it was just so stressful. And they were running behind in time, and so I was supposed to talk at two, and then I went in at like, eight till and then like one minute till the person before was done and so the speaker was like okay we're gonna get into our next thing and I literally like stood up and he was it was not me and so I like awkwardly sat back down and then it happened again I was like me and then nope not me um, and my boss like laughed at me uh, I didn't end up speaking to like 240 I had to sit there for like 50 minutes just being like oh my gosh is it my turn and then people were messaging me like you need to cut your talk to five minutes and I was like Okay, I already cut it to 10 minutes from an hour and then I texted my boss I said I'm cutting to five minutes and she was like no don't do it We'll cut from somewhere else and so then I uncut it in my mind like in my mind I was making edits and then I unmade them so it was just it was a lot and I, the, I told you I think I said before the thing I was most scared about was getting questions I got three questions and I think I answered them all really well and I think there was one that was really hard I wasn't anticipating and I think I gave a relatively quality answer I think all my answers were like I my fear is like giving a bullshit answer because honestly whatever you say like people aren't gonna like question you but it's like obvious when your answer is stupid but I think all my answers were good 
I'm like detoxing stress. Okay, there's a lot of people in the parking lot. I need to get out of here. Hello friends, I'm back at my house. It's five o'clock now, I've just finished working. It's like 5.15. Um, the man that came to see the house earlier put in an offer and is over our asking price, which was already like kind of a stretch. So we were overwhelmed. We had to talk with our realtor. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen. But it's not on the market yet. It might be on the market right now as we're speaking, but I haven't gotten like a link, so I don't know. <sighs> this has been a stressful week. I'm so glad it's over. I feel like I just made it to a finish line and like with finishing work and like it's the weekend. We have no plans tomorrow. I had some plans tonight. I canceled them. We were talking about doing a Taylor Swift reaction video. I canceled that. I was thinking about filming more videos tomorrow. Like canceled that. Like I need things to be simple, there's too much going on. So, I'm so happy it's... Okay. Yes. I'm going to do one of my favorite forms of self-care now. I'm going to cook. I'm going to make a white bean chili, which is something I've been wanting to do for a while. We got all the ingredients. We were um, multitasking yesterday in the car on the way home from rehearsal, put together a Kroger order, and Drew picked it up this afternoon. So I'm gonna make chili. And then at seven o'clock tonight, the Taylor Swift short film comes out, and I'm so excited. I'll vlog a little bit of it instead of doing like a full reaction video. important information on it but we just signed lease papers for our new apartment that we're moving into we're selling our house moving into an apartment because people are doing crazy things like that these days um yeah still haven't i think i've given the illusion that we're like moving down the street um and we actually aren't we are well we'll talk about where we're moving in another vlog because i can't like talk about it yet yeah. Still working out some details in yeah, my yeah. personal life. Um, but, like, I'll tell you soon. I'll tell you as soon as I can. I can't tell you next week. I think I can tell you in two weeks. Okay. Yep. So. Wow, we've had a crazy week. Like, a week ago, we didn't have this apartment. We weren't going to sell our house. We weren't sure about anything. You didn't accept the job. Mm-hmm. Saturday, 
I'm feeling so much lighter and happier than I did last night. <sighs> I'm so happy. All that stuff from last week or this week is behind me. I don't have any plans today. I'm just relaxing. Um, I just talked to my mom for like an hour. That was nice. And I've been editing this vlog. And my main goal for today is I need to practice my lines. We open in two and a half weeks. And I haven't really practiced my lines at all. And I'm going to go to the gym and do like a really long shower. Like skincare, shave my legs. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here so I can just relax and enjoy myself. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'll start another one tomorrow. I'm going to go see Hope and her family tomorrow. And next week, Erica's coming. And we have three rehearsals next week. So lots of fun to be had. We'll give you updates on our house and all that stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. Please do that for me. I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe if you haven't. And let me know in the comments below your favorite new Taylor Swift song. And any thoughts you have. Unless they're mean, then just like... It's not necessary to say mean things. Just keep it to yourself. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.